I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor of AutoVision News, and this is AutoSense Insights. We're speaking today with Alexander Vonder, who is the Senior Manager of Business Development for Osram. And Alexander, thank you for being with us today, and welcome to AutoSense Insights. Thank you, Carl. Thank you for having me for this interview, and I'm interested in your questions. So let's start right at the beginning with those questions. So tell us a little bit about Osram uh, for our viewers who may not be familiar with the company, just give us an overview of, of Osram. Sure, sure. So Osram is a quite well-known company here in Europe. Uh, we are known for the light bulb business out of our tradition. And today we have a strong footage in uh, the optosemiconductors area with LEDs for sensorics, for illumination. And on the other side in the automotive area with uh, systems and components. So when it comes to the automotive systems and components, I know that you are a leading supplier for emitter modules. I know that you hold several investments in companies along the LiDAR supply chain. So let's talk about that for just a second. Your team is actually working on a LiDAR at the system level. So how do you see the current development of the automotive LiDAR market as it relates to Osram? Well, yes, Carl, um, we all know that LiDAR and the autonomous driving market have gone through a hype cycle in the last years. And uh, like end of last year, beginning of this year, we have seen a tremendous dip in the expectations due to several reasons that we all know. Um, but we are still convinced that especially the level two and level three driving functions, uh, meaning, for example, the highway pilot applications will require especially a long range LIDAR. And this is exactly where, where we are around. And um, unfortunately, as of today, the requirements uh, and the standards for LIDARs are not really set. So uh, it makes it difficult for LiDAR suppliers to really bring up modules into volume as they are always tailoring them to one specific customer. And this is the reason why we are trying to set up a platform rather than one specific product so that we can adjust it to several uh, customers' needs and to scale it into volume. And so, so yeah. So th th that is a really good segue, Alexander, to our next question, because you're talking about a LiDAR platform what is that and, and how will that help the automobile industry? Uh, well, yes, as I said, we are working on a uh, platform, which is a flexible platform consisting of optics, electronics and the respective software as a tier two that helps tier ones to bring up a complete LiDAR module. And uh, from the application, we are focusing on the long to mid range area meaning that we are working with an edge emitting laser 905 nanometer uh, in a time of flight uh, methodology and that we are using a beam steering. Primarily, this is a MEMS beam steering, but we have something uh, specific, which is a very new technology for beam steering that helps us to adjust the range and view, so the region of interest for our customers. And we think that especially this feature is very important also to uh, get down the cost of those units um, because you can use one unit for several use cases at a time. So one of the questions, Alexander, that I, I think maybe some of our AutoSense viewers will have is, what is the importance of LiDAR when it comes to developing a robust ADAS system or a robust automated driving platform? It, it seems like there's some manufacturers or some people that don't believe in the LiDAR approach and there's others that believe in it, but why is LiDAR important? Why is it a necessary component of aut autonomous driving platforms? Mm. Well, there are a lot of discussions out there, uh, either or discussions. Do I need radar? Do I need LiDAR? Do I need a camera? Is a camera sufficient for all of it? And uh, from our perspective, and we are in line with most of the uh, people in the market, uh, it's not an either or question, it's an and thing. So uh, we need to have a redundancy in the cars for all kinds of different situations. And for that reason, uh, from our perspective, you need a LiDAR to overcome the shortages of other uh, sensor systems, as well as you need other sensors in order to overcome the shortages of a 
the shortcomings of a LiDAR system. Right. So the future of automotive LiDAR, Alexander, how, how, how do you see the future of automotive LiDAR? What, what do you see happening in that market in, in, in the future? Mm -hmm. So um, I think in the last year, a lot of people thought that the first level three cars might be available even this year, level four, five coming in the next years. In the meantime, I mentioned this uh, dip uh, that, we, that we have seen in the expectations. Uh, we are quite convinced that the level 2.5 uh, 2 and level 3 driving functions will be available in the mass market in private cars somewhere in the 24-25 area, uh, while the level 4 and 5 driving functions will be more like in the 2030s. Um, and um, so, but we think that in 2024, we will see those uh, highway pilot applications and so on, and we will see our light on the market. Right. So I... Alexander, there's there's one more thing that I, I want to uh, recap here. Um, of course, we, we want to share how people can get in touch with you. But just one more thing. I, I want to go back to that Osram LiDAR. Let's just go over that one more time. What are the benefits of that? And, and, and why is that in, in important to your customers? I, it just if there are any viewers watching, I want to make sure that we go over that one more time and just go over, oh, just go over the benefits if we can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So um, the Percept platform is a flexible platform, meaning that uh, this platform can be adjusted to a huge variety of applications from very narrow long range applications to a 120 degree field of view mid range application um, in a fixed setting. But we can also using this additional beam steering that I mentioned, have this flexible adjustment of range and view while driving. And we think that uh, by this way, using a platform and adjusting it to the uh, requirements of our customers, we get that product into volume and by this bring down the cost to an acceptable uh, area, which is very important to bring cars into a series development. And I, I, I would agree that the benchmarking aspect, the, the cost that, that goes into it. So let's say Alexander, one of our viewers would like to get in touch with you. How do they get in contact with you and, and Osram to learn more about this? Yeah, so first of all, uh, thank you very much for having me for this interview. Um, and if anybody out there is interested in more information on our LiDAR Percept platform, um, then feel free to approach me at any time via email. You can reach me under lidar-percept-info at osram.com. Or you can find the link in this video uh, that goes to our website. Yeah. Alexander, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure talking about the automotive LiDAR market with you. From all of us here at the AutoSense team, we wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you for taking time with us. And we'll look forward to seeing you again uh, down the road at a future conference. Yep. Thank you very much. And have a nice day. For more great content from AutoSense, check out our hub and our YouTube channel by searching AutoSense.